So, Kiran, there's um, I've heard from a lot of people that there was this turning point um, in maybe sort of perhaps even the 1970s when, you know, around the time when Israel was founded, that Ireland was actually kind of quite supportive as a whole of Israel. Um, were you around back then or, uh, you know, have you heard that story as well? And can you tell me exactly when that turning point occurred in public sentiment? I was around then. I have vague me- I'm, old, I'm old enough to have vague memories of the Yom Kippur War in 1973. And I mean, I, I don't remember the exact conversations amongst parents and family, but I think I get a general sense that there was a kind of a nervousness about, you know, will Israel survive or will Israel be overrun? Because I believe in the first few days, Israel was caught completely unawares and the Egyptians were making major advances across the Sinai Peninsula. Uh, so I do remember those conversations. Um, I think the Lebanon, the, the situation in Lebanon might have started being a turning point. There's one politician called um, Lenahan. Oh my God, I can't give his first name now. He, he was the Minister for Defence. Brian Lenahan. Brian Lenahan. You know, I'm talking about Brian Lenahan Sr., not, not, not Brian Lenahan Jr. Brian Lenahan Sr. was Minister for Defence back in the late 70s, early 80s. And the Irish Army were the Irish Army was in southern Lebanon acting as uh, a peacekeeping force, UNIFIL, and um, he he mentioned that as being a point when he started to kind of move away from being pro-Israel and more pro-Palestinian. And um, it was around that time that a lot of Irish soldiers were being shot by the South Lebanon Army and some other proxies that were at least ostensibly backed by Israel. So, and he think he, he went there a few times and felt that he wasn't impressed by the behavior of the Israeli army. So that might be the turning point. Um, but then it was also the IRA. I mean, the IRA had had close ties with the PLO and they would have started to um, agitate for Palestinianism and Palestinian nationalism. Um, I mean, the, the, the Northern Ireland issue definitely has um, had its effects. I'm not, it's a kind of a chicken and egg, chicken and egg situation in Northern Ireland. Um, I'm not sure whether the loyalist and unionist community was pro-Israel, so the, IRA, so the, the IRA and the nationalists decided to be pro-Palestine, or whether the IRA decided to be pro-Palestine, and then the you know, Protestant unionist loyalist community decided to be pro-Israel, but that has had its effects as well. That would have changed some minds um, to be more anti-Israel. 